Growing up, it was just mum and me. She sacrificed a lot. It made me want to build things that would make people's lives better. So I went to AUT and enrolled in their business school. We had to start a real business in our first year. It even made money. But it wasn't about that. It was the thrill of doing something new and bringing people together. And now, I can't stop. I've always been fascinated by wildlife. I received a scholarship to study communications at AUT. I did journalism, social sciences, and film. I wasn't sure where it would lead, but I wanted to do something meaningful. I've ended up using all those skills. Today, I'm a wildlife cinematographer. Every day that I'm out there, I think, this is where I'm meant to be. Mum always taught us in Star Wars culture, stories matter. So I watched everything I could, but nothing was about us. Enrolled at AUT to study Māori media. I wanted to be the next Peter Jackson, but my lecturer asked why, when I could be the first Matilda Fuasa. That moment changed everything. I realised that telling our stories was truly possible. I arrived here as a refugee from Somalia. I was eight and had never been to school before. I loved social studies. I knew I wanted to help people. So I enrolled at AUT. It had the right combination of social sciences and conflict resolution courses. My lecturers gave me the courage to go deeper, to ask why, and to believe that I can make the world better, safer, and more just. Growing up, I always loved the ocean. I wanted to do marine biology. I believe science can create lasting conservation change, but no one was really teaching this until I met my professor at AUT School of Science. She was breaking new ground, merging different fields. For the first time, I saw how I could help save the ocean and live my passion every day. Growing up in the far north, I watched my dad put our farm into a successful business and give back to the community. That inspired me, so I left home for AUT's business school. I loved that my lecturers were real business people and they ignited my passion to find work with a real purpose. After a career overseas, I now get to live and breathe this every day, putting local business and iwi capability back home. My childhood on Great Barrier Island was amazing, but incredibly remote. We had to build and fix everything if we wanted to eat. I was 16 and pretty nervous when I stepped off the ferry barefoot to start engineering at AUT. But I'll never forget my professor telling me, growing up on the island was a gift that I could build on to go anywhere. And now I make stuff that gets launched into space. After my sports degree, I wanted to research human physiology and how to fix performance. I met with the PhD team at AUT's world-class sports research institute. They connected me with elite athletes. This changed everything. From the data I collected, I was able to focus on how illness impacted their performance. Now I work with the people who protect our country to keep them at the top of their game too. From a young age, I wanted to help people. At 16, I joined the fire service. It was there that I got curious about how things work. So I enrolled at AUT to study engineering. I knew I had found my place when my lecturers showed me that my degree could make a real impact. And now I get to fight the pandemic, working for a company making life-saving equipment. Growing up, I saw many people struggling. I asked myself, how could I make a difference? I found my answer at AUT Law School. I remember my AUT lecturer talking about tetidity. I still get goosebumps. She challenged us with a weddle to always think from a different perspective. One I've tried to honour working on some of the country's most defining cases.